Three innovative technological platforms will be developed to assist visitors and participants at Expo Milano 2015 in their exploration of the theme Feeding the Planet, Energy for Life, the Ecosystem, the Smart City and the Cyber Expo. Upon arriving in Milan, visitors will find innovative services at their disposal that will immediately introduce them into the world of Expo Milano 2015. Using their own mobile devices, visitors can download the Expo Digital Guide. Among its many features, the guide will make it easy for visitors to arrange transportation to their destinations in the city of Milan. An extensive digital signage network will make it possible for them to perform a number of operations en route, including the purchase of Expo tickets. Transactions are also possible thanks to the implementation of near-field communication technology. Visitors will also be able to use their credit cards to add money to their electronic wallets or smart cards. The City of Milan offers an extensive Wi-Fi network, ensuring that visitors will always have access to the Internet via their mobile devices. After the initial login, they will have full online access throughout the city. Using the NFC technology, the visitor will enter the train station. Visitors will also be able to consult the Expo Digital Guide at any time for information on the many events hosted during the Expo, both on-site and off-site, as well as information regarding use of the local public transportation system. Visitors will not only be able, for example, to reserve a taxi, but they will also have constant updates as to the arrival time and their current positions on the city map. The ecosystem offers continuity of services for visitors during their stay in Milan. Additional innovative applications, such as augmented reality, will be developed to enrich and facilitate the visitor experience. Information will be provided such as the location and availability of electric vehicles in the city's sustainable mobility fleet, which can be used for point-to-point -point transportation or as a convenient way to tour the city. Systems will be in place in the city's principal points of interest, allowing visitors to access information and services regarding a broad range of cultural initiatives. For example, they will be able to choose, reserve and purchase tickets to the theater. Facilities known as digital islands will be created in different parts of the city. Protected by video surveillance systems, these islands will provide electrical outlets for personal devices, Wi-Fi connectivity, telematic totems, and electric quadricycles for personal urban transportation needs. The ecosystem is a shared platform offering digital services provided by local businesses and specifically developed for Expo Milano 2015. It will be implemented within the City of Milan, but represents an opportunity to extend these services beyond the geographical and temporal limits of the Universal Exposition. In addition to the traditional method of entry, visitors can enter the Expo both using biometric recognition systems and using a smart electronic ticket that functions with the near-field communication technology. The electronic ticket allows visitors to optimize their experience at the Expo. Just to provide an example, they will be able to use special augmented reality glasses connected to their smartphones that display information about their surroundings, such as the identity and location of pavilions and schedules of events. They will also receive personalized suggestions and tips on thematic itineraries with minimal queuing times. Electronic signage will be located along the walkways throughout the Expo site. It will provide both general interest and personalized messages. The latter may be presented on electronic walls that recognize smart electronic ticket holders and offer them information pertinent to their itinerary and personal profiles, allowing them to take note of the most interesting events and make online reservations using their mobile devices. The Smart City Project envisages the development of five layers, smart buildings and energy, telecommunications and IT systems, physical and information security, edutainment, mobile payment services, and cloud innovative services. Technological solutions will be in place within the exhibition spaces to provide continuity between the visitor experience and the Smart City Expo. Developed jointly with partner companies, the services and technologies will provide ultra-wide band fiber optic connectivity. Wi-Fi and fourth-generation wireless coverage, interactive edutainment electronic walls, 
video surveillance security system, access control and alarm systems. The pavilions will also be equipped with augmented reality systems and cyber visit that will allow remote visitors not present in the pavilion itself to take a virtual tour. Another feature worthy of note is the virtual desktop systems. The expo theme will be presented and illustrated in the pavilions via interactive electronic screens. Additional and more detailed information on displayed materials will be available via the augmented reality system. This will allow visitors, for example, to connect to the country where the materials originated and embark on a digital tour to learn more about where and how they were produced, as well as the traditions associated with them. An electronic transaction system will allow visitors to fill their digital shopping cart with products they are interested in while mobile e-commerce solutions not only allow them to make payment, but also to request shipment directly to their homes. All visitor activities on the Expo site will be made available on the user's mobile device via an analysis and reporting system. The augmented reality system makes it possible for visitors to access additional information present in the pavilion and receive suggestions according to their particular interests. They can also participate in events, conferences and discussions outside the pavilion or even in other countries via the telepresence service. The third platform that will be developed by Expo Milano 2015 is the Cyber Expo. It will make it possible for approximately a billion remote visitors to enjoy a virtual tour of the smart city and also allow visitors to share their experiences. Using their own digital devices, virtual visitors can access the Cyber Expo directly from their home, either via the Expo web portal or through the more popular social networks. Thanks to the option of navigating using gesture recognition, the cyber visitors can move around freely within the Expo Smart City and directly access the pavilions of participating countries. The Cyber Expo also allows visitors at home to interact with visitors present on the site via a number of technologies, including electronic walls by which they can communicate, exchange impressions, photos, videos, and even play Expo 2015 games together. Socializing with millions of other users connected to the cyber platform at the same time.